have not called Twitch about this now. Uh, I sent in an re error report to Streamlabs already. Yeah, Russians are going way too far to mess with my stream, I know. But yeah, I've already sent in a um, error report or a log with um, Streamlabs. And when I'm done with this stream, I'm going to check to see if I can change servers on um, Streamlabs. See if that matters at all. Jay getting too powerful. Yeah. How's Snow doing? Well, sold too early. Story of my life. Tommy Hayes, a couple other streamers having the same issues. Yeah. Um, I checked with the ping function, and the only problem I was having was connecting to Twitch. It wasn't having problems with my general internet. Hmm. Shut up, Lobeb. <laughs> Chung, that's what we did earlier. That's what we did earlier. Talk to the CEO of Spy, yeah. I mean, look at it, guys. Look at the Spy. By the way, those SMH calls were a really good idea for me earlier. They're up 42%. It could be today's rally is just liquidity supplied by over-leveraged bears exiting their positions. Absolutely. Would not shock me. <clears throat> Would not shock me at all. Well, that was a big, nice, that was a nice candle. The spy is saying, bring out your cheeks. Bring out your cheeks and I shall clap them. Oh, Penny, I don't think earnings is what matters, really. Yeah, do is it, yeah, the dollar index continues to go down, I see. By the way, the dollar is up on the day. All right? The mole, you don't think Q3 earnings is something to look forward to? I'm looking forward to it, but mainly because it feeds a lot of stories. I'm curious specifically this. Do we see a difference between shit companies and good companies? All right. Remember, I don't care about earnings of the entire market. I'm looking for winners and losers. Petty, I believe it's a dollar. Um, the dollar index is the dollar versus a basket of the currencies. And I think the number one currency it's, it's pegged against is, pegged, is the, um, um, the euro. By the way, spy futures have been fucking... 
You just mean you'd be surprised if the market is priced? I agree. I think the market's already trying to price in negative earnings. I mean, literally, go. Like, I think Reddit's a terrible way to get, gauge overall sentiment. But how many times have we seen people say like, well, Microsoft's going to fail because the strong dollar. And it's like, will they? If we at 380, then what the fuck? By the way, the spy futures are at 380. So you can almost expect it. And the mole. You think Reddit is a great way to gauge sentiment. You just need to realize they are mostly wrong. Yes. I agree with that. I mean, everything but Twitter is fucking right now. Frugal, your call con leaps are up 6%. Nice. My um, my longer dated uh, Qualcomm calls are just down 16% in total. But I bought for the same reason. End phase went straight to hell. We should have shorted it. End phase was stupidly valued. My God. They have a lot of room to fall. Crayon eaters, what's up with this, huh? Should we be buying end phase puts? I don't care if it's down 8%. How's Upstart doing? Remember deep, deep freaking value was in here? Man. Look at him. The mole, your Reddit theory is that GME squeeze was the actual flippening of Reddit sentiment gauges. That's interesting. I'm really happy with my decision today to buy SMH. Correct, Chad. Twitter is not a completely done deal. I haven't sold shit, though. Hm. The unstoppable dollar is wreaking havoc everywhere but America. Bloomberg. The Fed. Can't stop. Won't stop. <laughs> oh, this is bad. Look at this. Look at this, OPEC and President Biden.
but as a reference of this meme. There's a famous porn, which was a tiny actress and five very large penis individuals behind her. And they took turns fucking her. So it's a porn meme where these five people will fuck this one person. That's ah, funny. Glencore, to place Nordenham zinc smelter on care and maintenance, i.e. shut it down. Interesting. That's disgusting source. I'm not pulling up a source for that on Twitch. Your QQQ calls are fucking harder than those guys. Well played. Love you some Glencore. Uh, Piper Perry, yeah, that's her name. That's the actress's name. And yes, guys, a porn star is an actress. It's, hey, it's an actress. I don't care if you take a dick. Mattress actress, yep. Amazon Web Services infrastructure inefficiencies cause cuts to Twitch driving creators to Google's YouTube. Hyperscalers have different hardware software advantages. Yep. Tell me. Callie Otter says, isn't it somewhat supposedly encouraging for semis to lead the way out the bottom? Yes. Yes. Anything high beta. Yeah, you want to see that. What should be encouraging is, supposedly today, memes aren't doing well. All right? You want to see quality stocks move the market. Or at least move with the market. Is Microsoft back to 250? Yeah, it is. Well-deserved. And look at this. Still cheap. Relatively speaking, they had, a, they had a hell of a fucking day yesterday. Fly materials broke 90. The fact that it broke 100 breaks my heart. Uh, Lolbad, what's stopping you from buying $53 calls? What's the premium on those? BTU still bussing? Every day it's bussing and bussing and bussing. Good for them. You guys know I don't like Poland. I don't like this company. But for all of you fuckers who held in there and played it, congrats. I wish you all to do well. And Chem Life, Prometheum, you guys are big lovers. Please tell me you made money on this. Uh, yeah, MP Tosca. I did mention it very briefly. Um, I think it was Goldman Sachs. Moved him from 110 and I thought it was to $88. But yeah, the price target was cut, but it was reiterated like overweight or buy. So they still like the company. They just adjusted the price. Well played, Penny. And the energy issues in the EU be worse next year? I think I would read that. Uh, 
any oil energy dip you see for the next few weeks, buy. Sounds about right. So you can get 52 and a half for about 180. That sounds that that sounds bad. Law bad. That doesn't sound good. I'd almost rather buy shares. Remember, if the price closes at 5420, yeah, that that sounds that sounds bad. I wouldn't do I would not do that law bad. Let me go back to SMH. What strike for AMD um, 2025 is sufficiently degenerate yet not regarded? As crazy as it sounds, I'd probably go like 110 or 120. A fuck ton of Forex options are expiring tomorrow. What direction do you think that pushes um, the dollar? That's the question. Probably up. You think it pushes the dollar up? Okay. That's a reason to be slightly bearish. the spy doing Chad dots on air dipping before earnings no clue I'm still holding my shares my shares Going on with the feuds. Futures are still at a higher level than we are right now. What's the dollar doing? Yeah, the dollar's been stable. Right, I'm your favorite streamer named Jay Arlington. <laughs> And you're my second favorite um, viewer by the name of Rad. Um, Air is aftermarket tomorrow. They're based out in California. So most of the time when you see a company report earnings before the market opens, usually they're East Coast or Midwest or international. Um, if, they're, so if it's a West Coast based company, it's usually aftermarket. You bought Nike after well played B Hood. Well played. Lil H, what the fuck? I'm your favorite over 55 streamer. Fuck off.
Yeah, B Hood. It was dumb. Everybody was so focused on Nike's inventory, but didn't pay attention to what Nike had to say on resolution. To me, the stupidest earnings reaction I had seen all year long will be on semis. On's earnings were fucking fantastic. And people looked at some like reduction in like free cash flow and didn't bother to read the commentary about it. So I remember I bought that. Favorite streamer on social security. Motherfucker. Brad Reptile, how did I navigate the market? Y'all gotta see the shit I deal with, right? Yeah. That's what I deal with. God damn. I'm your number three streamer, top two are hot chicks. Hey, I'll take it. Uh, Professor Clown, did I see the liquidator post from Ropirto? Yes, I did, and I loved it. We talked about the same topic yesterday, by the way. We did talk about it. Ropirto is a friend of mine, by the way. At least I consider him friends. At least on semi got a good pump. Marvell just died with good earnings. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Professor Clown, I can save you the effort. I mean, basically, um, I liked it. I believe it. But yeah. Roberto's making a bot for it. Yeah. Yeah, Caffeine, you're friends with Rope as well, right? Remember, Rope is in my uh, Discord. Yep, we hang out, not in real life. I know. Yeah. Rope Rope is a wonderful, wonderful human being. He got shit on previously in VTARDs a while back. People were saying he was a quote pump and dumper. And I, uh, I thought that was bullshit. No, he's a smart kid. Younger dude, but smart. By the way, we didn't, I didn't mention it before. Did anyone catch Michael Burry? Hmm? You did not tell me you took the GMAT. How'd you do? How do you think you did? I assume you did well. Michael Bull E. Did he delete all his did he delete all his tweets again, huh? Fuck me. Alright, where is the tweet? This is, I think this is right. Yeah. He pointed out, he goes, I admit I'm feeling greedy because he had made the point on a previous tweet. Yeah, the Michael Burr archive, thank you. There was a previous tweet he mentioned where he basically said this feels a lot like 2007, 2008, where then he said, um, you know, there's a time in which value was not, quote, appropriately valued, like free cash flow was overly discounted. He then followed up with another post that basically said what's different about today is that a lot of these companies are better. And then he finally posted this because he admits he's feeling greedy, meaning there is opportunity out there. He's probably not buying the entire fucking market, but yeah. Cali Otter, it's not the regulars that shit on the DD though. It's always some random dudes that rarely chat the daily start piling up. Yeah, I'm going to go half and half on that one. I got annoyed by it. I'm in I'm in the I'm in the um gray beard, gray bush camp of like, fuck it. Why should I sit there and put out information and get accused of being a pump and dumper, get the private messages, all the ne negative shit 
that you guys don't get to see on the front end. I'm like, why? I'm not making money on this. It's not worth it. You know, the second you write something about a company you like and everyone's like, oh, but the Fed's tightening into a recession. Therefore, everything you said doesn't work. And it's like, motherfucker, all I said is such and such is a good company. Vito, shout on your chest. You deserved it. Right? That's how you keep warm. Uh, WJO, am I still holding FXI? Yes. Need more caffeine? Oh, wait, you're gonna get so much shit since the overlayer stopped working now. Keep, keep at it. Put it this way, give me more caffeine. Do you know what's more insightful is when, um, you know, a model or a narrative stops working. I've always found that to be more interesting. Uh, Lil H, was that a UK-based heating slam? Yes. Yes, it was. A very acute warm spot. Hey. Give me the good old Cleveland steamer. <laughs> But yeah, caffeine, keep doing the overlay because what's more interesting is why did it break down? Hmm. Well, I'm probably gonna hold my Tesla put in my AMD call overnight because why not? Because we're in a totally new environment. Exactly, B-Hood. Exactly. The overlay just went wrong by one day. That's all. The people who complain about DD not working are victims of mental communism. And we don't like communists. No, we don't. More caffeine. Why did it break down? Well, the strong correlation was always going to break down after that massive dip we had between the last two weeks. Agreed. Agreed. Uh, Fig, uh, I honestly believe the more knowledgeable, like the more perspectives and insights people pick up, the more moderate they tend to become. That's my belief, particularly in politics. Yeah, caffeine, I would sit there and say part of it's probably the currency action. I mean, what? Supposedly the Bank of England and we've had the Chinese Central Bank and Bank of Japan have all done some interventions. ETH, <laughs> Ethereum bear market at the barbecue restaurant in my town. If voting changed things, they would have made it illegal. See, I hate that cynicism. I hate it. Voting has changed things. Absolutely has. The problem people see, and this is true, is that nothing ever moves fast enough. But keep in mind, the entire American political structure is predicated on that. It's not supposed to be fast. Do you know what moves slower than laws? Society. Got like rock hard this week. Yes. Look at the Brazilians. Oh, they are waxing vaginas as we speak, getting ready. Look at this move, guys. Oh, it's not BTU esque, but it's impressive.
I love this like Russian media show that's now getting put around in the West. And it's like, first of all, a pretty impressive set. Hey, Penny, thank you for the 500 bits. Yeah, I've only had one sub and then those 500 bits. So thank you very much. I can have dinner tonight. As long as dinner is under roughly eight bucks. So thank you for that. Appreciate it. But I just drank a beer. Yeah. It's going to eat in the margins. Yes, it will. Yeah, wait for the Twitter deal, yeah. I'm not going to comment on what Penny says. He's right, but I can't say it. <laughs> Spies kind of going back down to... Well, Belgium, how you doing, my friend? Thank you for the 60 bits. Greatly appreciated. Looks like we're about back down to 378, which is still above our pivot point. Eat this punk. <laughs> as long as you're not feeding me beyond meat. That's my rule. No beyond meat, please. I saw some uh, I saw a meme that pointed out the presence of uh bed bath and beyond and beyond meat means there should be a bed meat and a bath meat, which is pretty gross. Yep. Or the other person who pointed out bed, bath, salts, and beyond. Ugh. Whoa, thank you for the five gift subs. Greatly appreciated, my friend. Goldman Sachs boosted its third quarter GDP growth estimate by a full percentage point. What the fuck? It's all one meat. Heh. <laughs> So the Atlanta Fed GDP model has been boosting things up. And at the same time, Goldman Sachs just moved their model up. Ron Jeremy has a trademark on Beyond Meat. My God. Chem Life. Holy shit. Thank you for the 1400 bits. Greatly appreciated. Thank you, Penny. Thank you, Callie Otter for the gift. Piper. <laughs> no fucking way, Callie. No fucking way. No, that's not. <laughs> that's fucking hilarious. Apparently Piper Perry has a Twitch account. The Fed will not like this. Fed doesn't give a shit, believe it or not. Not in day to day like this. A lot of adult perfumers, uh, performers have become Twitch. Yep. A lot of former, by the way, former adult performers became Twitch streamers. Sasha Gray is a Twitch streamer and she's apparently wonderful. Bitcoin hash rates. Uh-oh, Penny. For those of you who don't know, Penny would track this shit and tell us how to play Bitcoin miners.
So what are we thinking, Penny? Shouldn't it be going down with energy costs going up? I thought Bitcoin in particular, the market doesn't get, yeah, the market doesn't give a fuck a lot about a lot. But yeah, I almost wonder if that's, because like, shouldn't hash rate be going down? Particularly, I guess, I guess as we get closer to the winter, Tom, I mean, shit, you're not going to be in Europe mining Bitcoin, right? Theoretically. Theoretically. Twitch is a couple boobs away from being a softcore porn site. I agree. Hash rate would be a function of profitability. So you need both price to be up and, and energy, essentially cost to be down. So if Bitcoin price drops, but energy keeps going up, we expect that hash rate to drop. Which then makes, ironically, Bitcoin theoretically more profitable, right? Can I think of the 100 bits? And honestly, you think Twitch should just embrace it? Ah... The problem is um, what they're big on is is advertising revenue. And the second they go true to soft corn, uh, porn, by the way, or they go into porn, they basically lose their audience of, of supposedly kids. More important, they lose advertisers for the kids. Oh, semis are fab. Thank you for the 100 bits. And Salt Rock Spelt, thank you for the 100 bits. You know where Caffeine says, you're looking at dark pool prints today, very similar to yesterday, hoping for a close. I assume you mean near 377.71, because right now we're above that. You more Caffeine, they have the 100 bits. Twitch, presented by Trojan. Yeah. Advertisers and concerns about children are the biggest roadblocks of the whole internet being porn utopia. <laughs> I disagree. Nothing to that. You also get kicked from app stores? Yeah. Unless you go with the Reddit loophole. The Reddit loophole. That's called their anus. We're not a porn app. Reddit's got like porn subreddits, straight up porn subreddits. Whoa, just stepped into 377. Caffeine, if, you, if we end at 377.7, I'm going to burn you as a witch. Penny Ether says, maybe you should do a DD on miners. I would love that. I want to see more um, DD on VTARDs. More DD. And and listen, this is what I think makes a good DD on VTARD specifically. A good DD does not tell people how to invest. It may present an idea, but honestly, just to understand more about a company or a sector, that's it. More knowledge about it. Ghost, thank you very much for the 500 bits. Greatly appreciated, my friend. Yeah, I can eat good tonight. Add Booba and Twitch can keep from all, from age 5 with Minecraft to 10 with Fortnite and all the way to 18 plus. Yeah. Wow, big drop right there on the spy. Ms. Garrison, thank you for the 100 bits. Greatly appreciated. Just so you guys know, each bit's about a penny, so it's about a dollar. And I'm thankful for it, believe it or not. You said 37.7 or 377.7. We're currently below that. Remember, if we end at 377.7, we burn you alive. Professor Clown, we need to teach people how to create a DD. We need a demo start to finish with a neutral approach, bull case, bear case. Sung Maxi, thank you for the 127 bits. You said below. Okay, got ya. I thought you said 377.7 and I was going to be like, man. JDD creation. Oh boy. See, I'm bird. I think people are taking profit. You switched to the SPXL two minutes ago and just got stopped out again. Ouch. I thought I only get like a penny per. I don't know if it's changed. 
Do I have like a DD channel? No, not yet. 63 bits. Thank you very much, Sung Maxi. Remember, as long as we're above 377, the power hours win, but it's getting close. Another drop. anything 377 bits what's the best way to get money to you after middleman fees i think it's straight donations so if you go to my twitch page there's a link yep so there's this tips stream labs um, and it shows up on the stream that i think is the best uh a uh, most efficient way to send me money Whoa, 1.7 billion to the sell side. That's big. Reddit swap. Twitter is slightly down. You're betting on Musk securing the financing and closing the deal by end of day tomorrow to avoid giving the deposition and pissing off the judge further. I would agree. I would agree. Remember, tomorrow Elon Musk is set to be deposed. Uh, dis uh, yeah, deposed. He has to give a deposition. Most importantly, the judge has already said the trial is still going on until basically she receives a motion to stay, meaning hold off on the trial from Twitter. Nothing's changing. Lil H, thank you for the penny. Chem Life, you really want to know what he's scared of revealing? Let me show you. Let me show you. I have two viewpoints on it. Oh, that's cool. That was my former professor. You see me post this shit quite a bit. Um, he was a great professor. Where is Chancery Daily? All right, let me show you guys something. Mm -hmm. Well, Lil H, thank you for 64 bits. Um, where is it? All right. So this is a different case. All right. But it just came out this week and thank you again, little age for the 30 bits. All right. Look at this. This is a different case, but it just got written about, just got ruled this week in the Delaware Court of Chancery. The ownership remedy. The menu of remedies that a court has available to enforce its orders includes the ability to declare the ownership of property that is within the court's jurisdiction. Court of Chancery 70.A states, if real or personal property is in the jurisdiction of the court, the court in lieu of directing a conveyance thereof may enter a judgment divesting the title of any party, investing it in others in such judgment that has the effect of conveyance executed in due form of law. Basically, this says if your shit is in their jurisdiction, they can take it away from you and give it to the other party. Right now. Shares of stock in a Delaware corporation are personal property within the jurisdiction of the court. Technovative, which is the company in this other case, all right, is a Delaware corporation. The shares are therefore within the jurisdiction of the court. Here's the concern for Elon Musk. Tesla is a Delaware corporation. Anyone who thinks the judge could demand Elon Musk goes through the acquisition and Elon Musk says, fuck you, I'm not. They could take his shares of Tesla. That's what they said right there. So two issues as to what Elon Musk was facing. Number one, the quote May 6th. And one of you guys pointed this out yesterday morning. There was a May 6th email from a Proton email account, which is one of those 
um, encrypted email accounts from a potential whistleblower after Elon and friends had already said they had no communication with Zlatko, which is Mudge, the, uh, Tesla, uh, the Tesla whistle, uh, the Twitter whistleblower. If that was found false, that's perjury. Elon Musk loses very fast. The other issue is if he tried to walk away from this or stall too long, the judge could take his Tesla shares. Reddit swap? I believe he can't. There's still a poison pill in effect for Twitter where Elon buys, um, I think, over his current percentage. They have the ability to issue more shares. What happened to Mudge? He testified to Congress, but like, there's nothing you can do about it. Hey, y'all, tea leaves. How you doing, my friend? Spy is under the pivot point, guys. You have three minutes to go. Three minutes or the bears, the, the sourers are going to win. That, yeah, chat cat, that's a different one. That's not in front of the Delaware Court of Chancellery, but the real question is, like, did he? Because he said in his statement to Congress, which I thought was under, yeah, yeah, I thought he was under oath and basically said he had not had contact. If they find out he used this encrypted email and it was him and there was contact, I don't know. Al Tealy is doing great. You said an interview in a consultancy position. I hope it went well, but I'm glad you said you figured out very quickly you're going to hate it. Well, then well played, my friend. Uh, Lucky517, thank you very much for the sub, my friend. Greatly appreciated. Yeah, if it's true, and by the way, it still has to get investigated. Mudge already went in front of Congress, but this does raise an interesting question. If he perjured himself, fuck that guy. I have caddy issues. Elon could just tweet out Game Stonk again. Yeah. Congress is touchy about that kind of thing. You can't do it. You can't do that. You bought a fifty-three dollar call for Twitter. Uh, that's actually a pretty interesting strategy. Kind of like it. I have enough money in Twitter, yeah. That that's not a bad play. A bullshit candle. Oh, look at that. Oh no, did it get you guys? What's the closing price today? What's the closing price, guys? Someone call it out. Time to buy Doge? Fuck off. <laughs> I'm not touching that. I'm not touching that shit stock. Guys, what's the close? I think we actually... Uh, Chat Cat, how could it possibly close? If he gets the, uh, debt, the debt financing secured, he gets the letter that basically says it. All right, guys. Yeah, 377.69. <laughs> All right, guys. Well played, Bulls. Well played. By the way, the book, that was your first time chat, and a 69 in it. Well played, my friend. Folks, let's give you the points. The points. I'm so sorry. Oh, it was close. The power is win. Uh, Twitter has to sign off as well. Well, hold on. If if Elon comes out and says we have the debt financing, basically all the covenants are now acceptable, Twitter's going to say yes. Or else, once again, they'll get sued by their shareholders. Um, CPI's on the 13th. That's going to be bad. I don't know. It's a good question. Will Judge McCormick be okay with it? Listen, if both sides are okay with it, she's going to be okay with it. 
Down lemur, you bet he'll do about anything to avoid the anything. No, I agree with you. I think he doesn't want to be deposed at all. I think he's trying to avoid it. I think Judge McCormick owns McCormick. No. Uh, hey, Ch Ch Chad asks, Hey, Jay, can Elon be resued if he backs out of Twitter dropping the loss? Yes. <laughs> yep. Steely, you're, you think the market's hoping for a seven-handle CPI? Yeah. I don't know if they're going to get it. The bigger problem on the CPI side, guys, there's such a huge lag in terms of housing and shelter, it's going to be bad. Good night, you American fucks. Yeah. If he pulled that, the judge would not. Oh, he got yeah, the judge would destroy him. This judge is not fucking around. Even today, she was ruling against him. The, the case is still going on, guys. The trial is still set. Yeah, 7.9 is technically a seven handle. America, fuck, what the fuck? Oh, no. Spencer, you should have your points yet, if you bet. Any more caffeine? What we got here? It's overlay. Look at it. Up. Oh, it broke the trend a little bit. Let's see if it continues. Let's see if it continues, though. Oh, uh, whiskey. The Bulls won today. Barely in the last minute. Bulls won by an inch. If all economists and not only say the data is lagging, the Fed is pushing that much lead to a recession, which means people will suffer. Why is the Fed acting like they don't know any better? Everyone except the Fed says they have a very bad 
2023 because of what they do. Sandy, that's a problem. The second that they sit there and say that they're going to take their foot off the pedal, that may cause actually more inflation, particularly inflation expectations. So they have to talk tough. Apollo Global Management is no longer looking to lead the preferred financing. Interesting. Shouldn't matter. Have I seen the film Hell or High Water? I don't know. Sounds familiar. Thought this is a pretty good argument for the Fed staying the course. A growing chorus is urging the Fed to slow down lest it breaks things. If you pay attention, you should be nervous about growing financial strains in the U.S. and around the world. But the underlying in U.S. inflation rate is worse and employment is stronger than they were when the Fed announced tapering of asset purchases in November. Yep. Less have been tangible progress, not mere wishful. The Fed shouldn't let up. A process that could easily take the Fed funds rate above 5% next year. I agree. I actually agree with this. But here's the thing. To me, it's the trend. When you start seeing inflation going down, like headline inflation starts showing meaningful signs of going down, we're already seeing it start to go down. But until that happens, I think they should be raising rates. But at a certain point, man, you got to hold back. Big Harry Dingo. If Musk doesn't get financing, they get out of this deal scot-free, right? Nope. Nope. The belief is he actually waived a good portion of the uh, debt covenant requ required during his original um, um, acquisition letter. That's why Twitter is keeping the pressure on because the new letter he said basically imposed the condition of equ of uh, debt financing. My understanding is, no, the actual um, original acquisition letter, basically he came through and updated to say um, he was waiving debt financing. So in the event that debt financing falls through, Elon picks it up then. Big Harry Dingo, my understanding was the original acquisition letter was, and then Elon went through and basically personally assumed it. Yeah, this is the median. Yep. This is why when you hear people say June so far was peak inflation, this is why they say it. Because so far it seems to be right. Yeah, this is interesting, though. Thank you for sharing. Uh, thanks for the WinBB asks, do I expect a V-shaped recovery like after? I don't know. I have no clue. Super good question. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not buying Dogecoin. Fuck no. <laughs> yeah, anyone thinking the Fed's bluffing? No. The, the part that you may sit there and question, which is I'm... My question is, if they see inflation, basically, let's go to this chart. They were saying they were expecting it to be down. So look at the trend, okay? By the end of this year, they were projecting around 6% and they would keep raising rates next year. That's the part that I think is crazy.
I think they should still be raising rates. I just don't think we need to get into the habit of thinking 75 basis points should be the standard. Yep, I'm a steely. The Fed's messaging they'll crush inflation at any cost, no matter the pain, is a weapon. They should be using that. I'm with Webmaster. The Fed isn't bluffing. Economy should be able... Yeah, a shit co, a company that basically goes bankrupt because of 4% interest rates shouldn't have existed. I'm okay with that. Interesting. People make it over fifty. Yeah, may, people that make over fifty thousand dollars should be able to handle that. The kind of lower rates, theoretically. Because the problem is, Sandy, imagine this. If they didn't do such actions, the concern is if inflation keeps picking up, people that make under 50,000 are the ones that get fucked. They're the ones that get hit by inflation the most. Except for the super rich. Technically, you could say the super rich are the ones that are most exposed, but yeah. I'd rather see some smaller hikes, but go ahead and keep them going just so we don't break them. What is SLB? Yeah, Schlumberger, oil field services. There you go. It's an oil field services company. So they tend to move in conjunction with oil. Makes perfect sense. Look at the end of the day, guys. Oh. Yep, all tea leaves, I agree. Although I never heard them specifically call out a quote unemployment target. I know uh was a Meister or Evans specifically called out. She said, We think we could see in, um unemployment go to four and a half percent, but no one no one in the Fed has ever said this is my goal for unemployment. Mainly because none of them want to admit that there's a number of people they want to see lose their jobs. It's bad like optics. I'm sure behind the scenes they would all sit there and say, Oh, well, actually about four a point three to four point eight. Yeah. By the way, somewhat of differentiation. Obviously energy was up, which makes sense. Semis were be up. Okay, interesting. Um banks ate a dick. Not sure if I understood exactly why. So yeah. Not a good day for the mega caps. Which happens. Yeah, so all tea leaves. That's their projections, not goals. Yeah, sounds about right. Uh, Twitch streams. What about changes in Fed voting switching from more dovish to hawkish? Have I seen that chart? No. No, I haven't. It's interesting. Wait, folks, we're about to go ahead and end the stream here. I'm going to take some time to see if I can um, change my settings so I do not keep getting kicked off. Oh, there we go. Hold on. Hawk Dove. Yeah, I've seen this before. The Hawk Scale. So let's see. Who becomes a voter? So in 2023... We get Logan. We lose Mister, uh, and we lose Bullard. 
and we get Evans. We lose Collins. We lose George. We get Logan. Interesting. The fact that we lose Mester and Bullard are interesting for next year. And that you basically replace them with Evans and Kashkari is interesting. So yeah, thanks for that showing. But yeah, it looks like a little bit more on the Dovish side, or at least median side, the centrist. Anyway, friends, let's go ahead and see what our good friend Jay Jared's up to. Give him some love. Yeah, Harker as well. Anyway, guys, I will see you tomorrow. I'm going to see if I can adjust the settings and see if I can unfuck whatever is causing my, my, uh, my stream to suck. But thank you for tuning in, putting up with it, and thanks for all the love. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.